Hey guys, what's up? Today I have a SEP review for you. This time we have the number 75170, the Phantom. Actually, it's a Phantom 2 from Star Wars Rebels, but well, LEGO decided to call it just the Phantom again, I guess. Um, this set retailed for or retails for $39.99 in Germany. Um, the set contains 200 and 69 different pieces and yeah this right now is the box now you can see the back out of the box you can see play features or features you can remove if you so desire start shooters or spring loaded shooters whatever and yeah this is the manual you have three different stages so three different bags to build it in total you have around 60 pages and you have an overview of all the other cool sets that came out in this wave or will come out for you very very soon I guess yeah. so let's jump over to the minifigures and by the way the set has pretty much a lot of stickers in my opinion um, it's 12 different stickers and 14 stickers in total so yep if you don't like stickers this might not look as good for you but well let's just jump into the minifigures first we have Grand Admiral Thrawn that just made an appearance in Star Wars Rebels season 3 Great printing for the torso and the head, in my opinion. Let's zoom into the yep. Very good looking Grand Admiral Thrawn. And he has a second face that looks very very angry and yeah that's him he comes with a standard pistol that almost every Star Wars figure comes with so yep that's him next we have Chopper the droid we all already know or should know Nothing new on him, everything's the same, same printing, same pieces, so yeah. Last figure is Kanan Jerus. It's the season 3 one, if you don't know what happened to him or why he's wearing this mask, well, just check out the season 2 final. It was a pretty great episode, so yeah, just pause the video right here and <laughs> watch it. So yeah, um, it's, he just comes with a blue standard lightsaber. He has a ton of great, great printing on the torso. Also, his mask looks very great. Oops. If you're wondering, it's the exact same hairpiece that was used for Kanan in the last um, Kanan Jerry's minifigure, just with the mask piece on top of it. Back printing is also very, very nice. 
and he also has a double sided face. This is the alternate face. And yeah, this is his normal straight face, I guess. So yeah, that's those mini figures. Now let's go and jump into the review of the shuttle. This is the, the shuttle. You may recognize this shuttle from, well, maybe the Clone Wars TV series. It was an old separatist uh, transport shuttle that was repainted and yeah, now it's renamed to the Phantom 2. I'll give you a 360 degree spin first. And yeah. Okay. So, well, let's start with those small tiny legs right here. Um, they are pretty good, but on studs, if you don't have them aligned properly, they can make a lot of trouble. So, yeah, just make sure you align them properly before you place it somewhere. And yeah, you should be fine. You can remove the whole windscreen cockpit thingy and on the inside we have the newer printed sloped small 2x1 tile. It looks pretty great in my opinion. Just a seat for our pilot. In this case I'll just use Kanan and seat him right in there perfectly and yep yeah. works totally great on the back you have this little access door which normally is the way to get into the shuttle and into the cockpit in here you have a small container that has a pretty cool imperial insignia this is a sticker by the way, just a normal box with a minifigure stand on top of it. And on the oops, inside you have two of those thermal detonators. Yeah, they are pretty old pieces I guess, but I don't care, I like them. Um, yeah, you'll have a lot of space, I guess. You could fit one, maybe two figures seated in the back if you want. And right here, this yellow piece you can see down here is the mechanism to shoot the missiles or the spring loaded shooters. If you push the level to the left, it will obviously shoot the left rocket and if you push it to the right, obviously it will shoot the right rocket. And yeah, to reload them, just take your rocket and push it in until it clicks. Up here we have Choppers, command, post, station, whatever. This is the position Chopper normally sits in when he is piloting or co-piloting. And yeah, that's mostly it. This is what I'm talking about, about the <laughs> legs or landing gear. Um, yeah, by the way, you can also move those into this position. All of them can be moved into a position like this. 
and I'll leave it for, uh, like this for a second to show you another feature in a second that I am pretty surprised by. But first, one or two things I don't like about this set is obviously the price to part ratio. It retails for 40 euros and only has about 270 pieces. So yeah, there's almost, uh, well, there's just Kanan's hairpiece, which is partly a new mold. And um, yeah, I don't know why they pushed up the price so high, but nothing you can do about it. The only thing other than that I don't really like is if you put the crate into the back and move the top or the back door up and it can move a lot of, uh, well it can move on the inside if you well, fly it around also. It can be somewhat annoying, but if you don't put it in there, you obviously won't have this issue. And yeah, now I'll show you one last very cool thing, in my opinion, that you can do with this. So for this to work, you have to put the landing gear into flight mode or put them in the upper position and then you will need a bit of space so if you have the ghost this is the ghost for the ones who don't know um, the phantom one or the predecessor of this ship had the feature to attach it onto the back and when the phantom 2 this one was announced not a lot of people knew if it was possible to attach it to the ghost as well but we will check it out right now well I obviously checked it out already because I just had to and yes I can confirm it fits and it stays in place you cannot lift it from up here it's not strong enough but it will stay in place you can fly around do whatever just don't drop it and yeah in my opinion it looks pretty cool not as great as with the phantom one because the phantom one wasn't that large or tall but still a pretty pretty great set in my opinion just a little overpriced but yeah so now the final conclusion if you really want these set maybe if you want Grand Admiral Thrawn or the new Kanan uh, I'd say get it if you have the money otherwise just to wait wait until Amazon drops the price to like $30 and yeah I don't even know why Lego didn't just put it on the shelves for 30 bucks euros whatever because well in my opinion it's not worth 40 euros so yeah here's another quick look at it and yeah that's it for my review of the phantom 2 lego 75170 and yeah see you next time